Okay, so you gotta fucking be kidding me. <laughs> um, Jamie Rodenmeyer. Apparently, he did a YouTube video, It Gets Better Stuff, and he was struggling with sexuality, and he killed himself. And it's September, and it's Suicide Prevention Month, and no one's learned a thing. The tragedy is n more than just these people have taken their lives. It's that everyone sits back idly and does nothing. Okay? I mean, you know, especially, I mean, online bullying, the, the idea of social networking and how it affects your life, and, and I mean, any of that, you, you, you aren't learning. Why aren't there people who are learning? We have all this information. I have this wonderful computer right in front of me that tells me everything I'll ever need to know. You know, there's instructions on how to be a good person. There's instructions on how to fucking cook pie. <laughs> this. This is ridiculous. It's, it makes no sense that we have things like this and we have people out there that are just so destructive and ignorant. That we have parents who can't raise their children properly. That we have schools that are underfunded or we have teachers who don't give a shit anymore because they feel their school is too underfunded. We don't have this sense of inherent desire to help one another. And maybe this is also to blame. If you can get everything you want, and you can get instant gratification, then what's the point of being nice? You feel better. You don't have to connect with people. But, I mean, why haven't people learned? It's been a year. And now there's a suicide case during Suicide Prevention Month. And people don't even know it's Suicide Prevention Month. People don't know that traditionally, throughout most of the world, whether coincidental or by design, that this is Suicide Prevention Month. September. Do you know what? Next month is October. Anti-Bullying Month. There was a week. See, when the first week of a month, or any week of a month, becomes a key point, the entire month becomes that. Like, pride. Like, it started out probably like a day of pride, and then a week of pride, and now it's a month of pride. And it's all during the same damn thing. And people, co you know, people line it up and people make it work. You know, so, so we can have celebrations that come to be, you know, and ideas and months that cohese into formatted things that are constant or consecutive or linear or make some sort of fucking sense. Yet people don't know how to be conscientious of each other, polite. People don't know how to be courteous, people don't know how to... And these are all words that may mean the same to some people because you're an idiot and you don't know the subtle differences. And maybe I'm getting back to Angry Joe, the one that does tell people that they need to go jump off a bridge because they're not adding to society. And maybe it's because I'm a little pissed that that you, you for the people that do get it what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> you know um, I'm trying to find an organization to volunteer now that I've moved I'm doing this online thing because it is so important to me to show people how it gets better you know this kid <laughs> and he was just a kid I mean just a kid. Let me see. He was 14. 14. You know? You know, I've spoken with a 14-year-old who didn't think his life was worth much. And he was able to do for himself. He was able to go through it. He had no real parental shit going on. You know? Like, and this kid, like, I mean, the picture they're using is him well-groomed. I see a couple videos with him in it. You know, his background, you know, for all you people who, you know, for, 
for every person made of it. I mean, like, fucking, okay, Lady Gaga is pushing with fucking Barack Obama, and I just, what the fuck is everyone else doing? You know? You know, and, yeah, you can make a video, and, you know, like, and I don't even know if I agree with the the beginning idea in, the, in the anything with the fucking It Gets Better project. I just know that it's a medium that maybe, somehow, maybe, I can help someone. And if I take the time, if I do whatever, if, I, if I've actually gotten inspired and moved from fucking Virginia to Washington, because I know that there is such a chance of being greater here than where I was, you know, and, and that's what I'm going to try to do, but, you know, I saw a video, and I think that's what sparked this video, um, you know, someone on YouTube is crying, wishing that they could have helped, and then we got these comments from people, you know, that are just back and forth, hate mongers and people helping and everything like that, and I just, I just don't get it. When someone dies, regardless, it is bad, because it signals that their life is done. Now, when someone takes their own life because of other people, or period, when someone takes their life, it is a tragedy equal to when someone takes someone else's life. And if there were people who pushed that person who took their life, then <laughs> I don't even know, the word abomination comes to mind. Because, unlike when someone murders someone else, when someone leads someone to take their own life, they don't have this sense of responsibility. And using the internet to bully people has been going on for so long. What about the girl on Facebook or MySpace or whatever, where the mom was the bully and caused the girl to kill herself? Because they were best friends. The mom pretended to be someone, made them friends, and then bullied her, and she killed herself. Seriously? <laughs> and I, I mean, if you haven't gotten what I want to say, let me recap. <laughs> For all you people who are out there trying to do something, but shirking it off and not really doing it, fuck you. Twice with a giant sandpaper rod. <laughs> and, you know, even if you're doing a little bit, even if you're struggling, even if you... <laughs> even if you're like me, just floundering, picking things, trying your best to be an example and to show and also to be there to support people because the idea is, you know, you can support people. Even as the odd man out on that, I feel, because um, my roommates don't even fucking understand. They don't get it. They, I don't even think they want to get it. They think, they might think I'm wasting my time. But, you know what, if this is a waste of time, I'd rather be doing this. Uh, I'm so pissed. <laughs> you know, I really, really am. There are so many solutions to this. And the problem is, people are just so fucking irresponsible. <laughs>